just like you cross a street. You have to look both ways. You can't just walk across the street blindly or you'll get hit by a car or whatever's coming, motorcycle, moped, whatever it might be that day. If you don't look both ways before, the cross, before you cross the street, you're gonna get hit. Even if you're inside a car and you're trying to cross a red light and it turns green, you still have to have some kind of discretion on crossing the street because somebody might run the red light on the other side. So you always have to look both ways before you cross any street, both ways. What I'm hearing, and this is a repeated word, and when God repeats something to me, he means business, he, he's tired. And when God repeats something to me, he's about to make an example out of somebody. God has told somebody to leave you alone, but they feel like they can keep crossing you. They feel like they can keep pursuing you, just like Saul did David. They feel like they can keep doing what they want to do, keep doing what they want to do. They don't care. God really ain't call you. Did God call you? Are you God? And they keep picking at a sore. You know how you're supposed to leave a scab alone and let it heal? They keep picking at it and picking at it and picking at it until it starts bleeding. And God saw the blood. See, you're not arguing back with them. You're like, I'm not, I'm not even going to do this with you. You, you're, you, want, you want that kind of attention. You want that kind. I'm not going to give it to you. But God has said, I'm about to give it to them. They want attention, and I'm about to give it to them. They want to keep picking. I'm about to show them who I am. I told them to leave you alone. I told them to leave you alone. As many other people in the world, as many other things they can be doing, but they're making you their business. So I'm about to make them my business. They better look both ways before they cross you. They better look both ways before they play with one of God's child children. They better look both ways before they cross God. Because, see, they think that they're crossing you. They think that they're trying you. But they're trying God. And God is saying they better look both ways before they cross that red light. Before they cross that dotted line. Remember back in the day they used to say, cross this line. Hit me. Cross this line. God said, cross it. Cross it. Touch my kids again. Do it again. God is not playing when it comes to you in this season. And he's daring them to cross that line. Hmm.